A story, a story earlier this week out of Madison had a lot of people talking. A Madison man has won the fight to wear a spaghetti strainer on his head in his driver's license photo. The attorney for the man says his client is, quote, Pastafarian and was denied his religious right as a member of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monsters. Pastafarians in other states have been allowed to wear colanders in their IDs. Well, we tracked down the Pastafarian in question. His name is Mike Schumacher of Madison. We found him in Costa Rica, where he is currently, he says, pastelaz pastelizing? Postletizing. Postletizing on a mission. That's what he says. Only on News 3, here is that conversation. So, Mike, first of all, thanks for being with us today. Are you surprised at all the attention this is getting? I definitely am. I really think this is a pretty mute story. Uh, legal precedent had already been set, and uh, there's a lot more interesting stuff uh, happening on the news cycle. Well, what was your goal with this uh, to begin with? Uh, my goal was to uh, be able to wear a colander in my driver's license photo, my religious headdress. Why? Why is that? Why, does, why is that something you wanted to, the legal right to do? Um, as a Pasafarian, I choose to present myself in legal documents in this manner. Some people, when they first heard about all this, they, was, they were wondering if this is a real thing, Pasafarian. Um, I think that you could ask that question about any religion. Um, and some people might find that offensive and others not. I, it's a fair question if some people haven't heard about it. Um, to me, yes, my faith is a real faith. So educate us. What, what is the Pastafarian faith? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, the only dogma we believe is that there is no dogma. Um, we evolved from pirates because we share a much higher percentage of our DNA with pirates than chimpanzees. Um, and they were actually peaceful seagoing explorers who handed out candy to children, not the merciless uh, conquistadors that have been made out in Christian propaganda. So why the colander on the head? Well, we worship um, the flying spaghetti monster who, um, in a drunken stupor, created the flawed planet of Earth and uh, was boiled alive for our sins. This headdress represents, represents that, that sacrifice. But, Mike, you have to understand that this sounds a little silly. I think you could say it sounds a little silly. I mean, you could say that feeding a, a thousand people with seven, seven loaves of bread and seven fish is a little silly, or that, you know, people are allowed to control their bodies because of religion, or that, you know, same-sex couples can't get together because of 3,000-year-old uh, texts. I think that there are varying degrees of silliness, and I'm, I'm just wanting to be taken... Uh, Serious, in the drive seconds photo. People don't have to agree with me, just like I don't have to agree with everyone else's faith. So what are some of your moral compasses in this faith? Well, that people should be treated equally and fairly, that uh, anyone can, can practice any religion that they want to, and that uh, people should be free to express uh, their religion. And you, you got this ruling without even going to court. Is that, is that kind of significant? Yes, yes. The, the president has been set um, in different states, as well as uh, New Zealand. Or, yeah. So it was just uh, a simple matter of contacting my lawyer, Mr. Derek Allen, and then uh, him uh, writing a letter to the DMV expressing my religious headdress and that I should be allowed. The DMV made the right decision and uh, conceded pretty quickly, and I think it was good for all of us. I can get back to farming. Derek can get back to being a litigator, and the DMV can go about their business of uh, licensing and um, titling safe drivers. So you're happy about how this all came about? Yes. I yeah, I wish there wasn't so much uh, attention around it, but I am an, ad an ardent patriot. Um, I'm happy about this country. I mean, it's my body, it's my gun, my God, and my love. Well, safe travels, Mike, and uh, we'll see you when you get back. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. We really do. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you very much. And and there you, you notice, have it. You notice Mike was wearing a plastic collar because it's his travel one. This oh, won't that's go, right. This won't go through the airport. So he had a, the plastic collar. That's his... He be I, I believe he believes this. Well, it's interesting food for thought, isn't it? I really appreciate him talking to us, especially traveling so far away. Yeah. Yep. So we got that cleared up. <laughs> yes.